Pop on your workwear because we're about to look at 21 gameplay ideas made possible with the Get to Work expansion pack. While some of these ideas are smaller side activities, others can be a complete focus for your household. Let's get started. First up is running a retail clothing store. Get to Work brings with it retail businesses and your sim will be able to use their phone or the business panel to purchase a retail store. Once owned, you can use the mannequin objects to sell clothing. Note that sims can only buy clothing options of their same sex and life state, and so it can help to sell a variety of clothing options to cater to different customers. Note that sims who buy clothes you sell will actually add them to their outfit options, and so they can actually start wearing them around town, which is great because we all know that townies really can't dress themselves. I will flag that it can help to sell a few things that are not clothes, just in case you have a customer that finds themselves with all relevant clothes out of stock. Of course, a clothing store does cover all types of clothes, but you can easily specialize further, creating a high fashion clothing store, an active wear shop, or you could even sell formal clothes. Note that if you're interested, then I'll have a more detailed guide on running a clothing store in the description. Moving on to number two, which is to play as a doctor. Get to Work brings with it the doctor active career, and you can see your sims living their best, slightly stressed lives, talking to, diagnosing, and treating patients. It's a fun career, allowing you to perform surgeries and deliver babies, but it can be a little frustrating as it takes a hot minute to get your head around which symptoms correlate to which diseases. Sims who reach level six of the doctor career will unlock the determined baby gender interaction, which can be used on a pregnant sim to let you know if they're having a boy or a girl. Also, at level 8 of the doctor career, sims will unlock the sickness resistance trait, which will let your sim bounce back from sickness faster. Number 3 is a quick one, being to have a hospital birth. We've simply had enough of giving birth in the living room, I know it can be quite the show. Get to Work allows you to deliver a baby at the hospital. To do this, when a sim is in labour, simply click on them and select to have the baby at the hospital. This comes with perks as well, as babies born at the hospital will receive a birth certificate. Now it's time to create a photography studio. This can be brought to life with the in-flash photo studio object and it will allow you to take lots of cute pictures that can be displayed or sold. I will flag that while photography used to come with the Get to Work expansion pack, it along with a couple of the cameras are now all base game and so you could make this work in the base game too. The Machino stuff pack as well can really bring this to life by introducing poses, and it's a weird oversight that the in-flash photo studio object doesn't currently work with poses. Now grab your lab coats because becoming a scientist is next. This is another one of the active careers brought in with the pack, and it brings in a heap of perks, mainly through the inventions you'll be able to craft. From the sim ray to the cloning machine and more, it can lead to a lot of chaos. This career can also see you make serums, which are kind of like potions, which can bring a range of interesting effects with them. It's also a great career for collectors, including metal, crystal, microscope prints, and element collectors. Yes, it's a 10 out of 10 career option for knowledge-loving sims, but you can also consider entering some other sims into this career in order to get their hands on some of the cool inventions before they then go off and live their best lives which is exactly what we're going to talk about with the sixth idea, which is to make a Sim Ray supervillain. You can make the Sim Ray on the Invention Constructor, which can be done at level two of the scientist career. And this can be used to freeze other Sims, making it the perfect object for a villain to use to cause chaos. That's not all. At level four through nine of the scientist career, you'll unlock a range of mind control options that you can upgrade your Sim Ray with. With these upgrades, you can use the sim ray to change the target sim's clothes, as well as make them clean, sit, eat, sleep, and even panic. Giving this object to a sim who has the kleptomaniac trait, which allows them to literally steal objects from other lots, as well as potentially the evil trait, is a really awesome way to bring a supervillain to life. 
We're moving on, but we're not quite done with the Simray just yet. The next idea is to get rich quick with the Simray. At level 3 in the scientist's career, you can upgrade the Simray to transform objects, which can be used to turn an object into a different one at random. Note that usually the transformed object is somewhat related to the first. By using this feature on cheap showers, you'll turn them into often more expensive showers, as well as fridges and other objects, which can then be sold for a tidy profit, which we do love. While it does feel a bit like cheating, it technically isn't. Just make sure that your fire alarm is working because there is a chance that you'll set everything you love ablaze. Number eight is a quick one, being to experiment with serums. There are 15 serums in total, which can be unlocked by playing through the scientist's career, and each serum has a regular and tainted version, which provides different effects. Notably, serums can be used to make your sim lose a heap of weight and slim down, or alternatively gain loads of weight in seconds. They can also make your sim super buff with just a quick sip, meaning that you can ditch the gym forever. I know, if only such a thing existed in real life. There's even a serum that will temporarily turn a sim into a ghost. Serums are quite a bit of fun to play around with, and I'll have a link to a more detailed guide on serums and their effects in the description. Cloning yourself is next. At level 5 in the scientist's career, you can invent the cloning machine, which will allow you to clone a range of small objects such as collectibles. But the real chaos begins at level 9 in the scientist's career, whereby the cloning machine can be upgraded to allow you to clone sims. It's perfect for recreating that long lost identical twin, or just for making things really, really weird. For number 10, we're creating delicious baked goods and running a bakery. This ties in very well with both the retail businesses and the all new baking skill that comes with the pack. For this, you'll want to make baked goods using either your usual kitchen or the Whipped Dream Cupcake Factory, and then store them in the refrigerated display or on the baker's cousin display case which will mean that your goods don't go off for a very long time. Once you've done this and you have your own store, then you can set them for sale. Some quick hot tips is that it's worth saving up for the marketable trait, which can see your baked goods be worth a lot more when you make them, thus driving up their markup prices and allowing you to make a lot more profit selling them. Also, if you complete the Master Chef aspiration, then your sims will be awarded with the Fresh Chef trait, meaning that food they make will never go off, and this can be hugely helpful in running this type of business too. If you're interested in running a bakery, then note that I'll have a link to a more detailed guide in the description. We're moving on to becoming a detective. This is the third playable career brought in with the pack, and it can be quite fun to play allowing you to pick up cases before solving them by finding evidence and eventually tracking down and arresting the culprit. In my opinion, this is the most fun of the active careers, so I definitely feel like it's an aspect of the expansion pack worth diving into. Bring out your dark side now as we're making a DIY prison or dungeon next. That's right, making a basement filled with people to do our bidding is about to get all too real with the range of jail cell walls unlocked at level 3 of the detective career. This is one where you can really use your imagination either for good or for evil crazy chaos. And yes, I know you likely only heard evil crazy chaos just then. I hope you like sci-fi because we're looking at being abducted by aliens now. Abductions happen at night from around 10pm to 4am and the chance of it happening randomly is rather low. This being said, the satellite dish and the out of this world desktop computer, both of which are unlocked through the scientist career, can be used to hugely increase the chance of an abduction by using the contact aliens interaction. Do this daily and before too long you should be abducted. And if your male sims get taken away for a night, then they might just return pregnant with an alien baby. You know, things happen in space. If you want to be abducted right away, then there are also cheats to be abducted instantly, which I'll have in the description. Playing as an alien is next. Get to work brings with it alien occults, which you can make directly in Creator Sim, give birth to after being abducted, or find around town or in the alien homeworld. 
Playing as aliens can be quite fun as they have disguises as well as a range of unique powers and interactions too. A side note is that if an alien has a baby with a human sim, then the baby will be a hybrid. While they'll be mostly human gameplay wise, they'll gain alien coloured skin. For number 15, we're visiting the alien homeworlds of 6M and there are two ways to do this. The first is to enter the scientist's career, build the electroflux wormhole generator and then at level 10 of the career, upgrade it which will allow you to travel through it to 6M. The second way is to buy and build a rocket ship, train your rocket science skill to level 10 and install the wormhole generator upgrade which will allow you to travel to the alien homeworld. I will flag that in my opinion, the rocket ship method is a lot easier. 6M is filled with collectibles to grab and aliens to meet, and it's a really unique environment to hang out in or even take a few photos or paint a few pictures from reference of the environment. Next, we're collecting geodes. Unpolished geodes can be easily found in 6M, and then they can be polished to give one of the six geodes from the collection. They can look real pretty on display, and provided that you can get to 6M, then the collection is actually really easy to complete. We're now turning our attention to making a space plant garden. Also on 6M are three space plants, being the glow orb plant, quill fruit plant, and the fang flower plant. You can harvest these in 6M and then grow them back in a more normal world. By completing space missions, you can also find the base game's UFO fruit and thus add the UFO plant to your space plant garden too. But note that this one is rather hard to find. For number 18, we're making a space museum. I hope you've been loving how much space themed gameplay is in this pack because we're putting it all on show now. By combining the base game and the Get to Work expansion pack, you can really make this type of museum pop with lots of activities. From collectibles on show, such as crystals, metals, space rocks, geodes and aliens, to rocket ships to travel to and explore space, to observatories to use to study the sky. Where it really hits different is when you add some of the inventions from the scientist's career into the space museum, giving Sims a place to go to clone objects or contact aliens from. Moving on to creating a space themed restaurant. This will require the dine out game pack and if I'm honest it probably skews slightly more towards being a dine out idea rather than a get to work one. This being said, aliens and the many space themed additions from the get to work expansion pack can really help to bring this to life. There are menu options that fit in perfectly for this too, such as glacier infused iceberg lettuce, free range six and pit beast, and even a space taco. Also, as many of these are higher end dishes, your restaurant will be able to be profitable, which we love. For the big 20, we're running a general retail store. Even within running a simple retail business, there are lots of options. Maybe you want to make a music store that sells musical instruments, or you could create an electronic store that sells the latest and greatest tech. You could even sell statues or make a furniture store that sells a bit of everything. The options here are almost endless. And now for the final idea, we're making a collection store selling collectibles. Now truth be told, unless you have the jungle adventure game pack and sell some omniscient treasures, then this won't be a hugely profitable store. But it will be one that's rather fun to stock, requiring you to go out and find the collectibles before putting them up for sale. What's awesome about this is that you won't need multiple of a collectible in order to restock it. You just need to find it once to be able to restock it infinitely. This essentially means that you can then send your other sims to shop at the collection store to obtain collectibles in seconds that would otherwise be quite difficult to obtain. It makes for a really awesome store to just generally have in your game. And with that, we're at the end. That's 21 get to work gameplay ideas to try. If you have any fun ideas of your own, then I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.